I was a loyal and disciplined police officer who worked as the head of security at Deputy President William Ruto's office in Nairobi. I had a wife and two children who depended on me. I had no reason to end my life. But on February 20th, 2020, my lifeless body was found lying on the floor of my house with a bullet wound on my head and a pistol beside me. The police initially ruled it as a suicide, but later changed their tune after discovering new evidence that pointed to a cold-blooded murder. I am Sergeant John Kinney, and this is my story. What led to my death? Who were the killers? And what was their motive? The answers to these questions lie in a web of intrigue and corruption that involves a former cabinet secretary, two foreign businessmen, a multi-billion arms deal, and a power struggle at the highest level of government. The story begins on February 13, 2020, when former sports cabinet secretary Rashid Achesa and two foreigners visited Ruto's office at Harambi House Annex. They claimed to have an appointment with the deputy president to discuss a 39 billion shillings arms deal. I was on duty that day and I ushered them in after informing them that Ruto was not around. Little did I know that I was facilitating a fraudulent scheme that would cost me my life. Echesa and his accomplices spent 23 minutes in Ruto's waiting room, where they showed the foreigners fake documents and firearms as proof of the deal. They also demanded a 11.5 million shillings down payment from them. However, their plan was foiled when Echesa was arrested by detectives from the DCI shortly after leaving Ruto's office. The DCI had been tipped off by an informer about the scam. The deputy president ordered an internal investigation and asked the inspector general of police to expedite the matter. He also directed all his staff and security officers to cooperate with the DCI. I was among those who were summoned by the DCI to record their statements. I was scheduled to appear on February 19, 2020, but I never made it. On February 17, 2020, I walked alone into my house carrying mangoes. I spoke to my wife on phone that night and sent her 35,000 shillings through mobile money transfer. I also sent 10,000 shillings to my father, but something sinister was brewing behind the scenes. According to the DCI, three strangers visited my house on February 18, 2020. They were captured by CCTV cameras entering and leaving the estate. They also communicated with a senior official at Ruto's office before and after their visit. The DCI believes that these were the killers who executed me in cold blood and staged it as a suicide. They also tampered with my phone and deleted all my social media accounts to erase any evidence. The motive behind my murder is still unclear, but some theories suggest that I was silenced because I knew too much about the arms deal or because I refused to be part of it. My death remains a mystery that haunts many Kenyans who wonder if the truth will ever come out.